My name is Shakir Mustafa. I'm one of the oral and maxillofacial surgeons at uh, Kuntaf University Health Board. My role also spans an educational commitment, uh, being honorary senior lecturer at Cardiff University and the current chair of the uh, Norman Rowe International Education Foundation. The Norman Rowe Foundation is a subcommittee of the British Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons. It has an educational mandate to develop and promote the uh, specialty uh, in particular and uh, medical education in general where there's been recent uh, conflict in post-war uh, countries for instance. The uh, mission was triggered following an appeal by a uh, oral and maxillofacial surgeon based in the UK who is of Nepalese origin and it was in the wake of the devastation following the uh, earthquake in early 2015. We led a team of four surgeons and we used our skill set in uh, surgery as well as education to help um, empower people to uh, learn about uh, acute trauma care because that is something that has not been very well introduced in Nepal. Uh, it's been very sporadic and ad hoc. We had the opportunity of uh, traveling around Nepal. I came across this lady who uh, was a 28-year-old uh, female who had sustained an orbital floor fracture. She has had uh, primary surgery after her injuries and she was not happy about the outcome. So we set the wheels in motion and we planned the procedure. Uh, both uh, virtually as well as uh, on paper. We had a stereolithographic model made, a plastic model of the lady's uh, part of the skull showing her eye sockets and we managed to visualize the defects and we managed to set the, uh, the wheels in motion in planning the reconstruction. The reason I prefer using customized implants and patient-specific solutions is that I think it delivers uh, accurate reconstructions uh, and we know exactly where the implant's going to be placed and therefore the room for error is incredibly low and it will also reduce uh, costs because uh, it has a good financial implication in the sense of saving theatre time for us. We've never actually seen the patient or met the patient, but we were able to do so through um, emailing the CT data over or sending it via CD. This allows us to use our equipment and our software in order to give the patient what they need and be able to succeed in surgery. So we then took the 3D reconstruction from Mimix into a software called Freeform. We then create a plate and the plate is printed at Renishaw. It's still yet to be proven, but we do believe that a custom-made titanium 3D printed plate can be equal to or exceed a traditional method. I'm part of the development engineering team uh, and I work closely alongside production uh, during the finishing and printing of the implants themselves. Within Renishaw, this is a typical case, but perhaps within the wider industry, a custom case like this wouldn't be used so much. I think additive manufacturing and 3D printing in general offers the designers far greater freedom when designing implants for custom patients like this. And also, I think the features that you can design will make sure the implants are much better for patients in the future. Working in this industry and making these parts, it's nice to see that you actually have an effect on a real person. I like to think that designers and technicians and perhaps surgeons as well will see the massive benefits that 3D printing and the freedom it gives. It's so nice to see you, Sashi. You've done very, very well. I'm really happy for you. You look, you look great. You look fantastic. She's very happy about it that you all have come to uh, place and operated for her. Excellent. So she's very thankful for you. Namaste.